okay class so today is lecture number 8 week 2 right and we were doing pythagoras theorem in last class and in last class we had discussed that pythagoras applies only in right angle triangles by right angle i meant that there is one angle of 90 degree right and the working formula formula for right angle triangle is hypotenuse square equal to opposite square plus adjacent square right and we know that how we pick the sides opposite adjacent and hypotenuse but in pythagoras theorem the most important side is hypotenuse it doesn't matter if you switch opposite and adjacent it doesn't matter today we are going to do some example questions and they are sort of example word problem question but very easy right let's suppose we have a question A B C D is a square, and we need to find the length of its diagonal. Find length of its diagonal. Now, first step, or it is good habit if you draw a rough sketch first. So, let's say I make a square. and side is given that is 15 cm it is given 15 cm right a b c d i need to find the length of the diagonal so i can combine a and c or b and d it's up to you doesn't matter because all four sides are equal so diagonals are equal and in square we know that this is a 90 degree angle all angles are 90 degree all vertices angle that means a b c and d right so if it is a right angle triangle that means you can apply pythagoras here the unknown is x ac if i draw this triangle separately so it's basically a right angle triangle with vertices a b C. We know that the length of B and C is 15. The length of A and B is 15. The length of A and C is x. Now, if we apply Pythagoras here, it will be x square is equals to 15 square plus 15 square. 15 square is 225 plus 225. Right? So 225 plus 225, it will be 450 and root of 450 is 21.2 so that is the length of our diagonal right now moving on to another example similar question but now i say that we have a p q r s is a rectangle the first one is a square and this one is a rectangle the length we know is p q is 24 cm and q r is 15 find the length of diagonal diagonal q s right first step is always make a sketch so i make a rectangle label p q r s sides we know p q is 24 and q r is 15 we know that it is a rectangle opposite sides are equal If Q R is 15, that means P S is also 15. If P Q is 24, that means S R is also 24. We know that the we need to find the length of Q S. So Q S is basically a diagonal, right? And P is a 90 degree. We know that all angles are 90 in a rectangle, right? So if I draw triangle P Q S separately. It will look like this. P Q 
S P Q is 24 P S is 15 and we need to find the length of Q S now again you can solve it by using Pythagoras it will be x square is equals to 15 square plus 24 square so 15 square is 225 plus 24 square is 576 now 576 plus 225 under root gives you a value of 28.3 why under root because x in a square form we need to eliminate a square right so that's how we can do word problem of Pythagoras theorem next one example number three Now it says ABCD is a square length of BD is known that is 16 centimeter calculate the area we need to find the area of square and length of diagonal at this point i need you to stop the video and solve the question by yourself right so first step you need to plot the diagram the sketch the diagram so let's suppose that is in a square a b c d sides right if the length of bd bd is 16 that means we know the value of diagonal as well so BD is 16 so we know the length of diagonal right we need to find the area if the length of AD is let's suppose A then the length of AB is also X right because all sides in a square are equal and this angle is 90 degree so first step we need to find the value of X applying Pythagoras it will be 16 square is equals to x square plus x square right 16 square is 256 x square plus x square is 2x square now 2 is multiplying with the x on the left side it will be divided by 256 and it will be 128 is equals to x square applying root on both sides so x is equals to 11 0.3 right you know the value of x now area will be what area of a square is basically length square length we had find out 11.3 square and 11.3 square is 128 so that is an area of a square right if someone has a question that why we cannot use 16 in L square because 16 is not the length 16 is a diagonal and the working formula for square is length square length is AB or BC or CD or AD these are four lengths diagonal is not the length we can take in our area formula right okay next one now this time let's suppose we have a shape called trapezium example now how our trapezium look like that is a trapezium in which these two sides are parallel right we know that a b c d the length of BC is 12, AB is X, AD is 19 and CD is 13. We need to find the value of X first, right? And then we need to find X and area of trapezium. 
Now first thing, what is a trapezium? Trapezium is a cortilateral. Cortilateral means a four sided figure. Trapezium is a cortilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Like in our question, we have AD and BC are parallel. So, its condition is it must have only one pair of parallel side, either AB or CD is parallel or AD or BC is parallel. So, only one pair of parallel sides should be present in trapezium. Now, the working formula for area. So, area of a trapezium is 1 upon 2 sum of parallel sides multiply by height. That is a working formula for trapezium area. So, in our case, basically x is unknown, right? And x is our height in this case. Now, if I draw a line from this point C to the line AD, if AB is x, that means this line will also be x, so that is x, right? Now, from A to D, we have a length of 19. From B to C, we have a length of 12. So, if I subtract 12 from 19, I will get this length, right? So, this length it will be 19 minus 12 is equals to 7. So, the length is 7, right? It is also a right angle triangle and let's suppose that I label this point as T. This point is T. Now, I got a triangle C, T, D and if I draw it separately, C, T, D, C, D is known 13, T, D we have find out 7 and C, T is basically X. Now, you need to find the value of X, right? Applying Pythagoras as this angle is 90, it will be 13 square is equals to x square plus 7 square 13 is my hypotenuse right so 13 square is 169 is equals to x square plus 49 so 169 minus 49 it will be 120 so x square is equals to 120 now applying root on both sides so x is 10.95 that is the height of trapezium, right? Now come back to area. Area is 1 upon 2, sum of parallel sides multiplied by height. Height is known, that is 10.95, we have just find it out. Sum of parallel sides, now the parallel sides are 19 and 12. So I am going to write 19 plus 12, right? So, 1 upon 2, 19 plus 12, 31 times 10.95. Solve it. It will be 169.7. 169.7 centimeter square. That is an area of a trapezium. All lengths are in centimeter, right? So that's how you find the area of a trapezium. Make sure that you have learned its formula. That is very important and you should know how we use this working formula. Right? So I hope that this question is clear to you, the trapezium one. And let me tell you, at the end of this lecture, you will, I will provide you a worksheet of the same topic Pythagoras. So you need to uh, completed by yourself attempt all the questions right and submit it on the given deadline at the end of the lecture you will see it so right now i'm going to
do some example questions and these example questions like these questions uh, you have questions in your worksheet now let's suppose I have a triangle this question you need to try by yourself first so stop the video when I complete the question I have a triangle A B C and D so right angle triangle 10 6 x 5 question is find x now you need to stop the video solve this question by yourself solution we need to find the value of x for this purpose first we need to find the length of b to d right if this angle is 90 degree that means this angle is also 90 degree because the straight line has an angle of 180 degree if i plot the diagram a b d separately a b d a b is 10 b d is y and a d is 6 can we find the value of y if your answer is yes then you should try it by yourself first if your answer is no then you should really concentrate on this topic now the hypotenuse is opposite to 90 that is 10 so it will be 10 square is equals to 6 square plus y square either you write it y square plus 6 square it doesn't matter both are in the square form and both are added to one another 10 square is 100 is equals to 6 square 36 plus y square so it will be 100 plus 36 on the left side minus 36 equal to y square 100 minus 36 it will be 64 right so 64 is equals to y square now you need to apply root to cancel the square sign so root of 64 is 8 is equals to y now anyone if anyone has a question in your mind that why we are not taking plus minus 64 so make keep in mind that we are dealing with lengths right these are the lengths of a triangle and length can never be negative sign therefore we are not taking the negative one we are dealing with positive one only now we know the value of y if i complete the figure now so it will be like this another point c right we know that from b to c is x and c to d is 5 i just completed this figure here so you can understand it better now we know that this angle is 90 degree now i am going to apply pythagoras to the triangle b d c right so hypotenuse is x square is equals to y square plus 5 square now you know the value of y that is 8 square plus 5 square 8 square is 64 5 square is 25 so 64 plus 25 it is 89 89 is equals to x square root on both sides so x is equals to 9.43 right that is your answer did you try it and if your answer is right then you are on the right pace if your answer is wrong no matter make sure that you understand the understand the question along with its concept clearly okay example identify which triangle is a right angle triangle identify which triangle is a right angle triangle let me give you some sites a 48 50 14 48 centimeter 
फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर एंड फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर आई विल गिव यू सिमिलर क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस टू फॉर प्रैक्टिस फर्स्ट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू आइडेंटिफाई विस्ट ट्राइंगल राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल वॉट यू गाइज टू डू फर्स्ट मेक अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल दैट इज राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल राइट विच वन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट साइड फिफ्टी 50 is the longest side that means 50 should be my hypotenuse so this length is 50 the rest two sides it's up to you either you pick 14 or 48 you can switch between these two sides the most important side is hypotenuse that is 50 and i highlighted it after that you need to apply pythagoras so it will be 50 square is equals to 14 square plus 48 square now you see that there is there isn't any unknown in this right so simplify it further 50 square is 2500 14 square is 196 plus 48 square is 2304 we are going to add these two sides so it will be 2500 is equals to 2304 plus 96 it will be 2304 plus 196 it will be 2500 since left hand side and right hand side they both are equal so we can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle you see we can use pythagoras to identify that the triangle is a right angle triangle or not i hope that you got an idea let's suppose if these two sides are not equal let's suppose it will be 3000 equal to 2500 now these two sides if they are not equal means the triangle is not a right angle triangle right so part a i had done in red pen i am going to write your homework part b 34 30 16 cm part c 81 cm 75 cm and 30 cm part d 66 cm 23 cm and 70 cm so these three questions are your homework with the same technique as i have explained you in part a right so moving on if you guys face any problem in any of the part you can ask me right in your next session so another example now i am giving you some easy one so you need to attempt it by yourself first let's suppose 13 12 x you need to start it by yourself first and then i will explain you so part 2 3 you need to do it beta now there are three example questions on your screen i hope that many of you had attempted 1 2 and 3 and most of you got the right answers inshallah uh, so let's start with one We know that it is a right angle triangle, right? 90 degrees mentioned. We need to find the value of x, so Pythagoras is best suited for this question, which says hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. H square that means 13 square, opposite square that means x square plus 12 square, right? So 13 square is 169. It equals to x square plus 
12 square is 144. Now you need to subtract these two. 169 minus 144 is equals to x square. If you subtract 169 and 144 it will be 25. Now applying root on both sides. So x is equals to 5. Again the same reason only positive 5 not negative 5 because we are dealing with length and length can never be negative. Next part. Again a right angle triangle Pythagoras theorem for y. First need to apply the working formula. So 9 square hypotenuse is equals to 7 square plus y square. So 9 square is 81, 7 square 49 plus y square. So 81 minus 49 it will be 32. So 32 is equals to y square root on both sides it will be 5.65. Last one, again 90 degree angle, Pythagoras for A, first apply the working formula, hypotenuse is A, opposite 90 degree. A square is equals to 7 square plus 4 square. 7 square is 49, 4 square 16 is equals to A square, right? So 49 plus 16 is equals to 65 is equals to a square applying root on both sides so root 65 is equals to 8.06 so a is equals to 8.06 centimeter right so in your worksheet you will face such type of questions you need to attempt it by yourself and make sure that you are not making any mistake while calculation you are picking the right values for the right sides. The repeatedly uh, silly mistake in this topic is that mostly students pick or mix, mix the wrong sides. Instead of hypotenuse, they will pick 12 and instead of opposite, they will write hypotenuse. So that is a very common mistake uh, repeatedly occurs in Pythagoras theorem. Although topic is easy, working is easy, formula is very easy, right? but you need to identify the correct sides otherwise it will be wrong after this question uh, you can have a look of worksheet on your screen right and I am going to explain to you but you need to do it by yourself you can have the soft copy of this worksheet at the end of this lecture right so, write by yourself, it is an easy worksheet. Starting with part A. In part A, at first thing, we are dealing with a right angle triangle. The side opposite to 90 degree is 15, right? So, hypotenuse is known, opposite is known, and adjacent is what we are looking for. You need to find the value of adjacent, easy by using Pythagoras theorem, right? So, I hope that you have an idea how to solve this one next one in part 2 you see that hypotenuse the side opposite to 90 degree is unknown so rest two sides are known don't confuse with the units in means inches it doesn't matter your hypotenuse will be inches as well so 5 and 2 opposite and adjacent sides are known you can find hypotenuse by using Pythagoras same working formula that is hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square make sure that you take the root at the last step moving to question number three hypotenuse known adjacent known opposite unknown 90 degree again right angle triangle apply Pythagoras in the same way moving on the next one which side is unknown hypotenuse unknown rest two sides known again Pythagoras right after that hypotenuse it is known right 
when hypotenuse is known and any of the other side is unknown that that means that now we need to subtract now there is no addition like this one in this part you will need to subtract opposite from the hypotenuse after squaring it right and make sure that at the last step you are taking under root as well part 6 hypotenuse unknown that means there is an addition right where hypotenuse is unknown addition next question 7th hypotenuse unknown that means addition 8th one hypotenuse known that means subtraction in this question right 9th hypotenuse unknown that means addition and now it says yd yd is the unit of yards don't confuse with the units your working remains same right so you need to square them add them and at the last you need to find under root so i hope that all of you have a good idea how to attempt your worksheet and i hope that all of you did it uh, do it right the last question of today's class is an example question and let's suppose you have a question and the sides are 5a 2a 3a you need to find the value of a how you are going to do that the same method pythagoras it will be 5a square is equals to 2a square plus 3a square so 5a square 25a square 2a square 4a square 3a square 9a square right so 25a square is equals to 4 plus 9 is 13a square sorry one mistake uh, this part is only 3 not 3a so that means uh, it will be 3 only so it will be 9 only and we need to solve after this right so it will be uh, 3 square that means 9 okay so now it will be 25a square plus 4a square on the left side it will be minus 4a square is equals to 9 25 minus 4 it's 21a square is equals to 9 and a square is equals to 9 divided by 21 so 3 times 3 is and 3 times 7 so a square is equals to 3 divided by 7 root on both sides so 3 divided by 7 we need to do calculation by calculator it's 0.428 and root of it it will be 0.65 so the final answer of a is 0.65 so that's how you find an unknown by using pythagoras theorem okay so that's all for today's class i hope that all of you have a good idea of pythagoras now and how to solve different variety of questions in next class we are continue with the same topic but with more questions right uh, i hope that all of you will attempt your homework if there is anything you need to ask feel free to ask me right till then take care and allah hafiz